<laughs> oh, it was amazing. Um, you know, I've been in this situation before, and this is where I want to be. Uh, this is where I feel like my game's at. You know, I want to be pushing these guys. I want to be pushing second weeks of Grand Slams and, you know, putting myself out there. So, very happy. You're obviously into the second week now, so, I mean, do you feel like you've been pushed into the quarterfinals for the first time? I mean, it's just another day. I mean, nothing changes. Uh, my mentality going in is going to be the same. Uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, there's not much to complain about. I'm in New York uh, playing the US Open, some great weather and playing some great tennis. So hopefully I can just keep it rolling. You spoke about a couple of days ago uh, about the Marin Church match and how much yeah, you had that great opportunity to hit and you just fell shy and what you've learned from it. What, can you take us through a bit more about what that means to you and, and what you've taken from that 12 months on? Yeah, obviously uh, last year it was a bit of a heartbreaking match for me. Uh, a very big opportunity uh, leading two sets to love up against Chilic and then uh, losing uh, in a heartbreak at 7-5 in the fifth. And, you know, it's stung a lot, but you learn so much from it. You, you know that that's your level. Um, <clears throat> so it helped me a lot today. You know, uh, it, at one stage it looked like Maybe the same thing was going to happen, but I just had to regroup and uh, put out all, all those negative thoughts in my head and just play point by point. Just make sure to be very positive and uh, leave it all out there. Intensity, and uh, I'm glad I was able to do that. Play a, a great game in, in the fourth set to break him and then sort of hold on to my serve. Obviously, Leighton's someone who's uh, helped me out a lot. He's uh, sort of like a mentor to me. And, um, you know, going into this match, uh, obviously, I talked to my team and, and we had a game plan and uh, very happy it, it was I was able to, to execute that game plan and, and play some good tennis today. Could you talk a little bit about that game plan? Uh, <laughs> Well, that's probably something for, for me to <laughs> keep to myself. But uh, on my side of the court, uh, obviously, uh, I knew that I couldn't have any lapses of concentration because, uh, obviously, Kay, he's uh, the firepower he has. And, you know, if he gets things going, then, you know, uh, I'm definitely in trouble. So I had to make sure to try and keep holding on to my serve and, and just make him play as much as I could on his serve and hopefully build enough pressure to to just get a couple of cheap points here and there and maybe get the break. Alex, is he a player that you have observed closely? I mean, you would have felt like you were almost playing yourself in the mirror today in a lot of ways. And it takes a bit to rattle Nishikori and you can just see the frustration that was building as you were just pretty relentless. And I imagine he's one that you've been there possess a lot of similar attributes? I mean, for sure. He's someone that I've watched play for, for you know, growing up. I mean, he's been out there on tour for, for a while now. And it still amazes me, like, his uh, ball striking ability, you know, how he can absorb and redirect and, and you know, hit... You know, it lines with with every shot. So I knew coming in that I was going to have to try and keep as much depth as I, as I could because any sort of short ball, then I was going to get punished. So, uh, you know, I, I fought very hard in, in certain points and and I'm happy that I could finally get my first top 10 win. Americans certainly Coco Goff is a huge story here and it seemed when she was at Wimbledon people there really picked up on what she was doing. What sense do you have among the players, both men and women, that hers is a story that people are really following and watching her? I mean she's on 
on TV 24-7. I mean, she's, it's amazing what she's been able to accomplish at such a young age. And I mean, I was watching her match uh, last night. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, the whole of America was watching that match. I mean, it's, it's pretty insane uh, how much uh, the Americans have gotten behind her and it's great to see and the following she has is amazing and, you know, it's, it's good. It's uh, entertainment and I think between the players, uh, I'm sure a lot of, even the guys would have tuned in to, to watch that match. Her game and what she's done at this young age? As I said, it's, it's unbelievable what she's been able to accomplish at such a young age. I mean, uh, it's not easy, especially um, for her here in a home Grand Slam, first time. A lot of expectation coming in, uh, especially after Wimbledon. So, what she's been able to accomplish is uh, pretty sensational. She's been able to hold on her nerves and play some good tennis, beat two quality opponents. So, you know, I wish her all the best and hopefully she can keep it going. You know, Alex, that any fourth round opponent at a slam is tough, but you won't play a seed. Do you sense a real opportunity and Roger's potentially there in the quarter final? How do you not think about that? Well, I don't think about that because I don't look at the draw. Uh, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but as I said, nothing changes. You know, I've got my, my fourth round match, uh, which is the winner between Dimitrov and, and Marchak. So everything goes into that match. Um, nothing changes. I'll, I'll do all the same things. So I'll, I'll take it as a big opportunity as I did for, for this match. And this is where I want to be. So uh, I'll go out there and... Uh, and leave a hundred percent. Nothing changes. Alex, do you have a good nickname that you like? I mean, not something that's related to your your names. Uh, <laughs> Demon. That's okay. yeah. That's uh, something that's sort of catched on in in Australia, and yeah, I don't do mind it. Huh? Do you know where it came from? Uh, f- not sure, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I I like to think it, it's got something to do with sort of my my fiery attitude on court um, and just, you know, uh, I get pretty fired up and pumped up, so I like to think it's something to do with that. Do you think it works? Think it yeah, yeah uh, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like it. Roger said he does not have a nickname. If you could give him one, what do you think <laughs> you'd give him? <laughs> Roger. Uh, you know, it's probably one of the easiest ones. Goat, 